angiogram done in India a couple mm. years ago. So, and the coronary arteries were clean. There was no evidence of plaque. But what happens is in some people, it's not common, the, the arteries usually are on top of the heart muscle. And in yours, it goes into the heart muscle. And the heart squeezes, right? Mm. Once a second. When it squeezes, it can compress that artery, mm. okay? So it can cause chest discomfort. No, it squeezes and relaxes, squeezes and relaxes. But what will happen is, depending upon how long the um, course of that artery is, it can compress that artery, which can diminish blood flow. So there's certain medications that we try to avoid in this, mm. particularly nitrates. Mm. But a one I'm recording. Yeah. So the one thing that's helpful mm. is if we can slow the heart rate down, right? Because if you're squeezing all the time, yeah. it's going to be compressed more. Yes. Mm. So your heart rate here is a little elevated. Mm. Your heart rate is 99 beats a minute, which is a little high for him. And let me just see if it's still... Yes, it is. But he recently had blood work done. There's no evidence of anemia that could raise heart rate. There's no evidence of thyroidism which could raise heart rate. Are you drinking enough water? Yes, I do. How much do you think you drink? A minimum four liters per day. Four liters. Well, huh? okay, you're drinking enough. So I don't know why you're... Because so many medicine I take, so I have to stop. <laughs> exactly. So it's interesting. I'm not sure why your heart rate is up so high. He drinks four liters a day. Which That's is a lot. lot. That's double what it's, you know... Liters or, uh, like, liters. We're talking almost two gallons? Two gallons. That's a lot. Four liters. No, that's no, that's about a gallon. Um, like uh, yeah, it's a gallon. I'm so thinking about two like, liters. I don't think about it, but IV bags. That's yeah, it's a lot. Bags it's a lot, right? Yeah, it's a so lot. I'm not quite sure. Did they do an entire TFT? I mean, when was it? Did those thyroids obtained? February. February. Yeah, beginning of February. It's weird. Yes. Why his heart rate would be so high? And I just checked it. His heart rate is high. Are you anxious here today? Yes, very really anxious. All right, no worries. We'll shall see. You got a hearing problem? Oh, okay, no worries. Um, do you ever check the heart rate at home? Uh, no. Do you ever check his blood pressure at home? No, no okay. machine. Yeah. Okay. Um, the reason we were talking about it is because the myocardial bridge. What, as we said, a myocardial bridge is when that blood vessel goes into the heart muscle instead of riding on top of it. And with every contraction, systole, it compresses the artery. So higher heart rates can you know, make a problem. Mm -hmm. So we need to get the heart rate down. I'm recommending that he start a medication called Carvedilol. A, his blood pressure is high. B, his heart rate is high. And it'll help with this myocardial bridge. Okay. Because it's a beta blocker. Have you heard of beta blockers before? No, I have not heard okay. of that. So Metoprolol, Carvedilol. I'm recommending Carvedilol because I feel that it's the better blood pressure lowering medication as well. Now, you have asthma, correct? Yes. How bad is the asthma? Asthma is controlled. He's, he's taking inhaler. Yes, but do they say is it mild, moderate, or severe? Mild. Mild. So, most people with asthma, most people with asthma can I tolerate. don't have any asthma. Little. 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 Yeah, no, he, that's what he said. Just a little. No worries. You did mm. say that. Um, so, um, some people, not most, but some people can have a little bit of wheezing with the beta blocker. I don't suspect it's going to happen. It's usually people that are severe asthmatics that have problems. 95% of people with asthma have no problems, but I just want to mention that. I think Carvedilol is the perfect drug for him because of the myocardial for his heart, but just don't want to ignore the asthma component. If you're noticing that he's wheezy more... He's wheezing a lot, yeah. If you're home. noticing that, yeah, we gotta we got to change the med. But at home, he's wheezing a lot. Yes. Okay. Now, um, how much are you coughing at all? Coughing. <coughs> coughing. Coughing not much. Not much. Yes, yes. No, 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 no. Very often, when I get some cold or something like that, then I get cough. Okay. Otherwise, uh, no. for the last three months, I don't have much cough. Okay. Little. That is normal. Okay. Mm. Little bit of a cough. Little bit of a cough. And, and do you feel like you're wheezing? <laughs> Are you doing any of that? I don't make any sound. I feel that some sort of, if I, yes. if I uh, go through the up and down, Got if it. I 
in the he can realize that. We, we can feel that. We can see that. So what we're going to do is we're going to get something called a stress echo, but we're going to monitor his oxygen during the stress test. I want them to look at it in the beginning of the test and with each stage of the test. See if your oxygen is doing well. It'll also look at the heart function. It'll also look to see if there's any evidence of blockages. But we know from 2011... Yeah, 20, yeah, 2011, with 2011. Angiogram. Mm. Very minimal coronary disease. So this might be the myocardial bridge talking. Okay. Okay? So that's why we have to slow his heart rate down. Yes. Okay? But we want to look at the heart as well. Okay? okay? So And demoting hand also. What's that? Demoting hand. Demor. Tremors. Hand. Okay. So has he seen a neurologist regarding that? Dr. Buckingham. Is, oh, so they're checking that out. Yes. Good. Good, good. It might be something called a, you know, what does she think it is? Uh, she told that uh, vitamin B12 is less. Oh, okay. Is he taking B12? Yeah, yes. And they're repeating it? Yeah. Okay. B okay. Give me one tablet per day. Okay. Take it every day. So they have, yeah. to, have they repeated the B12 level yet? Uh, no, we have not done the test. Okay. It's, okay. So make sure you take it when she tells you and, and to see if it's adequate because sometimes people need shots of it, but we'll see. Yeah. Okay, but I'm going to leave that to her, okay? Because that's a, uh, so what I'm worried about is we want it, your blood pressure is way too high. Okay, uh, so we got to get you on the yeah, it goes up and sometimes ground. So what we're going to do is we want to get your blood pressure under better control. The carvedilol will help with that. Also help lower the heart rate, which is the prime directive in a myocardial bridge. Yes. Okay. And if you want to do leg swelling? Okay. So how long? How long has the wet legs been swollen? But right now I don't have any leg trouble. Just a trace. Just a trace. Of I don't have any leg trouble. Okay. Leg trouble means what has happened now? Due to cold and uh, this, you know, this, I sometimes I feel some sort of, you know, some sort of Crap. pain Crap. and I get up and then I Not put some uh, wrapping, some uh, warm cloth okay. and it gets all right. So the deal is this, if we need to, we'll, uh, he's not on a diuretic, right? No, he's not. No. So we're not going to add all these medications at once. We're not going to know what we're doing. So one step at a time. First, we got to get his heart rate down. That's with the carvedilol that will address the blood pressure. We're going to start on a baby dose. Mm -hmm. I want to see how his lungs tolerate it, mm -hmm. okay? And then we'll up it till we get his heart rate controlled and his blood pressure controlled. If need be, we'll get you on a diuretic. Mm -hmm. You're also on the low, what is it, what is he on? Uh, Val Thomas Artan, right? Mm -hmm. um, Thomas Artan. No, he's not dipping He's, yeah, not he's not taking that. I'm, I'm, I'm taking on, medicine for diabetes. We'll put him on, we'll put him on I'm, plain Thomasartan. Thomasartan, just plain Thomasartan, correct. correct. And so the Carvedilol. Okay. So the pl and and we're going to do Thomasartan. What's the max dose Thomasartan? Um, Is it, Sartan. I thought it was 80. I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. Or you can actually, if you, it'll go okay. in there. I think you should be on Thomasartan, Carvedilol, and then, because I don't want to introduce a new medication on top of the carvedilol, because what if he has a side effect? Then we won't know which is what. Okay? Are you eating low salt? I am eating. Low sodium diet. Low sodium diet, yes, I am taking. Who's cooking? My mom. My mom. Do you cook with, does she cook with sodium? She cooks with regular salt. No. No, 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 no. Raises blood pressure. Okay? And swelling. Okay? we got to get rid of the salt. I know that this diet, your diet is traditionally high in sodium. Okay. So no salt. It's going to taste different. Not going to taste as good. Okay. Okay. What is Thomas Arden? So, so to the Thomas Arden, I apologize, but he is taking the you will learn you can't can't So we can't refill that. Hmm? No, we cannot. So why don't we do, isn't Thomas Arden max dose is 80? Dosing adult, uh, maximum is uh, 80 milligrams. Yeah. Yeah. So why don't we take him off of that and put him on 80 of Talmasartan. Okay. And because he's going to get rid of the um, clinic, um, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Calcium yeah. channel blur. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that could, the, the other part of that uh, medication that he's on from India can slightly increase swelling down here because it's similar to action of the amlodipine. Remember the amlodipine yeah. that caused him to go poof? Yes. This one's related. Oh. So the combo pill that he got from India is related, so that might be exacerbating that. Salt, okay? So unfortunately, we don't have that combo pill in America, so I'm going to put him on just plain Telmasartan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And up to 80. We'll start the Carvedilol, but we're going to go slow only. I agree with you. Normally, I would go higher, but we just want to make sure that we're not his, with his asthma. And he's, got it. Mm -hmm. and, I understand. And yeah. With the, yeah. Twice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's, oh. The new medication is twice a day. Carvedilol is 3.125 
twice a day. We're upping Talmasartan to 80 because we're replacing that medication you got from India. Okay. Okay? And it doesn't have that other med in there. Okay? Low sodium. Then we're going to do the stress echo with oxygen monitoring. Okay? Okay. And then we'll see how his symptoms are doing. Okay? Yes. And if need be, we'll have... We'll, dive deeper in it. Yeah, I just wanted to interject. He only went four minutes, four, four and a half minutes last time and he did the stress test and just wanted to know if he's capable of going further than oh, that. Oh, I also want to see what his oxygen is. He won't okay. be able to get that. Got it, got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's the biggest thing. Okay. Because we're pretty sure that he probably doesn't have significant coronary mm -hmm. disease. Yes. Okay, I want to see, do you think you can walk more than four minutes on the treadmill? I can walk more than four minutes on the treadmill. Huh? Four minutes? Yes. More than four minutes. Oh, I, 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 I could, but mm. now I do not know how, whether I would be able to. Okay. But I feel I can do. I know. Now, do you go in with him for the stress test to help uh, translate? Uh, yes. Okay. Can you remind them? Because a lot of times they pull them off the treadmill because... Yeah, they're tired or something. Or whatever. Yeah. Encourage him to go for at least six minutes if he can safely. Okay. okay? If he's falling off the back of the treadmill, that's one thing. But... Sometimes they just say, oh, you're, we're, good, we're good, and they get him off early. I'd rather him try to go for six minutes six if he minutes. can do it, if he can do it safely. But tell him, you know, like, oh, I got my information. And you'll say, no, Dr. Cusack said to do six minutes if he could. Okay. Okay? And oxygen? Yes. For him. Checking the oxygen. Oxygen. Each level, because sometimes they forget. Yes. Okay, I know you won't forget. I will forget. I know. <laughs> I know him. We've known each other for years. He'll make sure. And you're going to be in there because you yeah. want to make sure that he understands. Yes. Okay? And that's why they'll say, listen, I'm going to go in there because some of the stuff he doesn't understand. Yes. Um, the language barrier. But, <laughs> <laughs> but this way, okay. then you have somebody in there helping you out. Yeah. All right, so we have a plan. We're changing the, uh, the telmosartan, just a plain telmosartan, but increased dose. We're, incre we're starting carvedilol to help his heart rate go slower because that's going to help with the myocardial bridge and lower his blood pressure, okay? And last but not least, should we should we check, do they do a full TFTs or just a TSH? Just TSH. TSH. Can we do free T, the, the free T's and the th total T's as mm -hmm. well as the TSH? Yeah. I don't know why all of a sudden his heart rate went just up. Tacky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he's still tacky. Mm. So he may just be anxious around me, but we'll still see. And if he's still high heart rate the next time around, we might even do a monitor to see if there's something going yeah, on. Last time, doctor suggested, carbonara suggested for heart monitor. But yeah. she, he was not comfortable, that's why he didn't accept that. Oh, but, why? Uh, because he was having palpitations? Or was no, 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 no. Last, last time, that's fluctuating the blood. Oh. So you that's know what? what? Maybe we should just do, again, a, we'll do the same thing. Yes. A ZO. Let's just do a ZO. On. Okay. Just to, you know what? Just to see heart rate control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because with a myocardial bridge, we should try to keep his heart rate as close to 60 as possible mm -hmm. because that helps with, you know, obviously the myocardial and the symptoms. Okay. Okay. All right? Okay. Yeah. Salt. So, no salt, yeah. No, well, don't cook with salt and try to eat low salt. Do, do, you, do you suggest any change in medication? Yes. Yes, we do. We're going to add a new one and we're changing the one that you're on. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. A lot of staging, but we're what we're doing is I we don't have the one that you're on in America. Mm -hmm. That's from India. Unfortunately, oh. that that one of the parts of it we can't get here. No, no. What is available here? You suggest that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the, yeah. yeah no, that's right. And then the other thing is with the one other medication we're adding is going to help. And we guys pioneer in this in the field. Of Remind, you, remember to look for um, Wheezy. It is Wheezy is the noise. Yeah, but no, is no, 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 no. But he's. He cannot realize, but we can hear that. You can hear that. You can hear him breathing more, or is it squeaking? Squeaking. Okay. Because mm -hmm. he's not doing it now. Uh, you no, know, home, Let's walking, he'll do that. Stethoscope, especially interiorly. You can hear that. Just, it's very mild, yeah. actually. Very mild yeah. now. I can't very hear, mild. but in the yeah, home, I, I can see it yeah. four or five yeah. times. Really, yeah. And um, who is he seeing for pulmonary? Dr. Nandika. When is he seeing him again? Uh, I think this Friday. Good. Okay, perfect. And then, okay, so I'll even pop over there and just tell him what I'm planning on doing. Yeah, you can okay. send a note to Nandika. No worries. All right, okay. darling man. So, right. so um, I've got that, and then one other thing I'm going to add is uh, just check the thyroid panel. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell Dr. Nandika what we're doing. Do you need any physiotherapy for late or something like that? 
physical therapy for that? Yeah. yeah. Nothing that I... No, no. So the, the doctor, Buckingham told some sort of exercise, he expects guy. What's some that? Sort of, some sort of... Uh, just a simple who's exercise. This, yes, and who's this primary? Uh, Dr. Kona, O'Connor. Okay, so that's who, that would, if they want physical therapy, that's who would do oh, that. Okay, okay sure. All right, and I'm going to see if I can see Dr. Nanakar around, and I'll let him know. Okay. Not Moskowitz? Okay. Thank you. Not Moskowitz? Moskowitz is a urologist. Urologist. But he, he's no longer here. He is already left. Oh, we have it. Okay, so who is his primary doctor? Uh, do Dr. Uh, I can give you the card. That. Number is there. Which pharmacy should we send this to? Uh, Main Street, West Main Street, uh, in Shoprite. Main Street, correct? Yes. I think 1900 something. Yeah, uh -huh. 1990. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm just going to send up for 30 days, six refills, just in case we okay. make a change. 90 days? Stop. Sorry, oh. 30, okay. 30 days with three refills. Okay. So that he's not, in case you need to make a change, that he's not stuck with a whole bunch of pills. Okay. Okay. And do we need to take some aspirin or something like that? Um, for him right now, I probably oh, okay. hold it, yeah. maybe hold off on that for okay. now. It might be something that to consider. Um, the only other thing that I wanted to do is to make a copy of his um, report for the angiogram from India, if that's okay. Yeah, sure. Because I don't think I was trying to see if we have it scanned in our system. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Copy of it, okay? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Whatever you need, you take. Okay. Mm, okay. It's a lot of blood work that I don't think we need. So, that's so I'll just go ahead. So, briefly speaking, what are the medicine to be deleted? What are the what are the medicine to be taken? Can you give me? Explain to me. Okay, you're going to stop Indian medication from India, you're going to stop taking it. No, no, okay. what are the name, name of the medicine to be taken to it, not to it. Yeah. Oh, sure, we can print you an updated okay. list. So what we should delete and what we should take. Taking to uh, not taking uh, finasteride, no mm -hmm. finasteride, huh? finasteride. What is that finasteride? Is it, uh, it is for, it's, it's for the prostate, prostate, prostate. 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 yes. I'm taking that, oh, not the tamsulosin, finasteride, not finasteride. That, uh, this yeah. one you're taking, yeah, this yeah, one, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That one I'm taking. Mm -hmm. That one only I'm taking. Thank you. 
started today. Mm -hmm. They can print that out the ground for you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Me llama por favor, 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 por I'm <laughs> You can't get a machine. You can get a machine. You can't get a machine. You can't get a Machine, the 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 machine,